Hello and welcome back. In one of our previous films, we reviewed a specialist modelling product called Panzer Putty, made by M Expression. We explored how this versatile product could be used in different ways to create camouflage effects, and especially hard edged camouflage. Several viewers commented that you can just use other cheaper alternatives, and there's some truth to that. One product might be blue tack, and some people use silly putty. Whilst neither of these behave the same way as panzer putty, they have their uses for camouflage painting with an airbrush. In fact, we use them on some parts of the same SDKFZ251 model. Blue tack like products are easy to find in any supermarket or stationery store, but we used a similar wilder product called Tack. Silly Putty, meanwhile, is a children's toy putty that's easy to find on eBay or Amazon. It comes in an egg shaped container, and whilst it doesn't bed down over detail like Panzer Putty does, it worked just as well when painting this part of the model. If you watch the original video, you'll see that it's possible to snap Panzer Putty due to its dilettant qualities. You can also create strong filaments or strips. By contrast, Silly Putty is less versatile. It cannot be snapped and it won't make strong thin strands. However, it works best to create simple, hard edged camo schemes. We find the easiest product to use when airbrushing most wavy camouflage schemes is probably Silly Putty. So, to show it in use, we'll use it on this Tamiya Shah B1 bis in 135th scale. The model was first base coated in various acrylic shades to get the underlying paint colour. This involved first priming with Vallejo surface primers followed by a warmer top coat using shades from the Tamiya range. This is the base onto which the camouflage will be applied. We grab some silly putty and a reference for the paint scheme from the instructions. You'll see that this has already had a fair bit of use, and when you handle the silly putty, the warmer it is, the softer it will be to use. You then simply add the putty to the area you want to mask off. You can adjust it and shape it to match the reference. As this is being used as a mask, you have to work in reverse. Green will be sprayed over to create the pattern. Build up the paint layers to get solid coverage. Next, the city putty is peeled off to reveal the paint below. You may get some overspray or leaks, but these are easy to tidy up. The process is repeated on the other side. You can speed the paint cure with a hairdryer. Final tweaks and touch-ups are simple using more silly putty. Here's the end result. And to prove that you can use any household tack, here is some we found lying around. It was carefully applied around the hull, then adjusted to get the right contours and edges. Once again it was over sprayed in green. Edges were refined using smaller strands of white tack. Before finishing off with the final touching up. Here's the finished camouflage scheme. The model was then ready for further painting stages. This included highlights to the green areas and a sealing coat of Johnson's Clear, followed by many weathering stages. If you want to see these, let us know in the comments and we can edit them into a video. That's all for now. We hope you find this mini guide useful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever we release a video. We'd really appreciate a Facebook like, or why not post your work in our Google community? And you can also follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and bye.
subscribe for our latest videos.